Hello, friends. You know, I was thinking about Abby's background and I thought it was really awesome. So I went out, painted a wall. I got I got all the pictures that she has so I can be like her. I figured she was really successful. I should go with that. I should just run with it. And so I, I made myself an Abby style backdrop. Abby, where are you? I was getting lip balm. Abby was gonna be in here, but she decided lip balm was more I need, appropriate. I needed to moisturize. Hello, everyone. Hi, and Nicole, do you want to be in this? I have a very important job to do. Yeah. Nicole's dealing with the puppers. She's the big dog <laughs> auntie. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna go to Lake Tahoe today. Uh, I'm obviously at Abby's house. We're we're all vaccinated, so everybody. It's good. It's good. It's all good. Uh, so we're gonna go to Lake Tahoe today and bring Merida up there. Hi, I could be in focus. I love how I just leave the seventh. Okay, so we're gonna go up to Lake Tahoe today and I'm, we're gonna bring Merida and uh, film some Merida shots, picture some things, and I might be able to talk Nicole into doing a little filming of what we're doing. Um, so we will tag you along with us and I'll see you in a few. On that. <laughs> I'm not sure I can even. So there we sorry. go. <laughs> That's awesome. <sighs> this is the things we do for our love of costuming. Boots so pretty. But we just we just walked all of that. Waiting on Abby to bring the car around while you just get naked in the parking lot. How much stuff can you take off before indecency laws? It is Nevada, so 
Probably all of it. Oh, really? I don't know. I have no idea. It, it's Nevada. I can't, considering the stuff I've seen downtown. I feel like different counties are different ways though. Yeah. Okay, we are at Milan Fabrics. We have acquired a Chrissy. Chrissy! And we're gonna go in there and buy some fabric and I will... Some? Some. 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 We're just, some of the fabric that's in there will come out. <laughs> that is what that's I'm guaranteeing. So uh, I'll show you this uh, land of opportunity and glory. For various definitions of some. The magic of a Hello, we are at the Victorian Radicals exhibit at the Nevada Art Museum. Uh, so, and they said I can film in here. So, I'm gonna film in here. Yeah.
It's the next day. We went out to get food. Yeah. Um, so I thought I would come back though and tell you what we thought about that museum tour situation. What did you think? Um, that means she didn't love it. I did not love it. No. <laughs> I, I'm mildly disappointed by it. Uh -huh. um, you said I, something really brilliant in there. Well, it, okay. So my museum studies like background came out and I get really snobby like I fully admit that I get snobby with this kind of stuff but they did not do a good job explaining the story of the exhibition yeah like you just kind of walked in and they have their title and it leans very heavily on the concept of it being pre raffaellite mm -hmm. but then it's like there's not a lot of information so you walk in and you're like what these are not pre raffaellite mm -hmm. like these are just like typical British school paintings and you know history and paintings and stuff like that not even from the same period N yeah and then and then it's in the next room and they're like oh yeah and then like the pre-raphaelites came and they were like screw this style I'm like you should have and by pre-raphaelites they mean a pre-raphaelite because they really only showed paintings from Rossetti no they had two hunts in there okay that is fair they did have two hunts two but like hunts. honestly I went to other exhibits I where I've, like one more day. I've seen like you know 30 of those guys yeah. and to have you know two is not that exciting yeah uh it was largely rossetti though yeah it was it was like we love rossetti i'm like mm, he's kind of an asshole but okay <laughs> and you didn't get like a through line about that exhibit it was just like yeah. a bunch of paintings that were from somewhere in the same like 400 well, years in and, the same place and then it jumped to like arts and crafts but i didn't like they just didn't explain the transition yeah they didn't really explain what was going on and why it was important yeah. like we had a lot of material culture we had a lot of deck arts we had some dresses which were cool like a cool liberty dress you know we had some paintings we had some stained glass but it's just kind of like okay but why what is the line here you're towing like why am i looking at this why does it matter yeah you know and like we have may morris and like that's cool and, like you know william morris and arts and crafts and it's just like but why but why but why that's what I thought too, kind of. Like she said, there's no story here. And I was like, oh yeah, that's actually true. Yeah. Um, there's a bunch of beautiful paintings to look at, but it wasn't like yeah. amazing by any standard. All right, well, that's what we thought. We're gonna go eat and- uh, Don't that's destroy our... us in the comments yeah. for being a snob. I'm sorry. That's our hot take. Um, like I'm uh, glad it was there. I'm glad we went. Yeah, it was beautiful. Like some of the <laughs> stuff was really cool. Um, okay, so we're gonna go do some sewing things, which I may or may not film, we'll see. Hello. I am in 18th century stays. Be cool if you wanted to focus ever. Okay, so the ladies are going to cut shapes on me. For those of you who don't know what that is, I am getting uh, essentially a pattern cut to fit my body for 18th century on my body. Uh, and they just sort of do it. And then you have a pattern, which is crazy. And that will allow me to go home and make most of a gown and just do final fitting from now on. So I'm gonna do this as a time lapse so you guys can maybe watch, I don't know. I'm not gonna have them get out of your way or anything, so uh, we'll see what happens. Sorry guys, you get what you get.
You get what you get, and that's all that you get. Future Noel here. Um, I just wanted to say that I just stopped filming. <laughs> like we got done cutting those shapes and we were all exhausted after doing that. Um, what I didn't show was also I put on my 18th century gown, the red and white one, and they fixed it on my body, <laughs> which was really like cool and weird and like I felt like a princess. So essentially I stood there because they, you know, I was like, this could be slightly better and they were like yeah it's a jp ryan pattern there's some some things that could get corrected about it so i just stood there and they like attacked me with two seam rippers <laughs> one on each side and they essentially took apart the front and they took all my trim off they created fake seams down the back because there's no side back seam in a jp ryan pattern um in that one so they i ha it was too big <laughs> like i got a too big of a size so they basically pinched out um, what are effectively darts <laughs> but I could cut it and then it would be a seam a side back seam for that so I just need to switch them around and stitch them in and then they took the entire shoulder apart took my sleeves off while the gown was on my body <laughs> like they just seam ripped it and snipped it off of me nothing came off my person <laughs> like the dress didn't fall down nothing happened they took all of the support structure out essentially and then put it all back. So my dress is in kind of a weird situation right now because either it's either pinned or like basted together right now so I just need to like go fix it. So that is one of the things I'm going to do shortly is just do a little repair work on that. Anyway, it was, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot for one day. So I just like hit the stop button and then f forgot to finish my vlog. So here's me finishing it. Hi. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next time with another video. I will do a haul vlog of what I bought at 
what is that Milan fabrics <laughs> um I also just got back from LA and uh I went to the fabric district and we went antique shopping and I did get some sewing related items there so I might combine that into one big haul for you guys so look forward to that soon and there will be an LA vlog as well okay I will see you guys later bye guys